Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead New Frontier. We're going to be starting episode 3. So, we found our brother. Oh boy. Come on. Previously on The Walking Dead. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. People's awake. Solamente está confundido. Mama. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> your hands up and close your eyes. Oh, boy. Mari! Oh, shit! Kate! I have to stay with my family. Go. I'll hold him off. I said go. Hey. What do we call you? Sorry. Forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell's going on out here? Oh my god. All right. Wonder how this is going to go. Is he going to blame his people or is he going to blame me? Because technically, I did my best to keep him alive. <laughs> oh yeah, we keep Everything doing this stuff. So close to dark. It's harder to see them coming. We're just going to get that propane and then come right back. I I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little, in front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it, and that we didn't have to risk life and limb every damn day. I can do this myself, you know. Not too late for you to turn around. Who's gonna watch your back if I'm not here? Besides, I can't just hole up in this house forever. I need... I need to get used to being out here. Okay. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> Fingers crossed. So this is definitely after the fact. So what's gonna happen? Is it gonna be like a moral choice type thing yes. here? Let's take it and go. <clears throat> Empty. Kidding me. God damn it. Seriously? Ugh. Of course it's empty. Why would we get that lucky? Hey, keep it down. I know it sucks, Kate, but you gotta watch out. I'm sorry. I'm just sick of this shit. I just thought this one time we deserve to catch a fucking break. It's a kid. Had to be a kid. Kate, you're a hammer now. Oh God, that's that's. Oh, this is so messed up. <laughs> I was just so 
fucking scared. You froze. It's okay. I wanted to kill it. I really did, but I know him. That was one of Cape's friends. True. He was so sweet. He always had a smile on his face. Cape worshipped him. That's not Drew anymore. I know, it, it still looks like him, but... The kid you knew, he's gone. All that's left is this... thing. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not people, if they're just the dead... <sighs> Muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. I'm right here, okay? I'm here. You're here. We're still alive. That's what matters. <sighs> Can we go back now? To it. All right. Sorry about that. Had to grab some stuff. So we went back to the house. Uh, what was his name? I think Wallace. I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back. But it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there. For an empty can. There's gotta be a safer place out there. What makes you think it's gonna be better anywhere else? Everything and everyone outside this door is dead. Exactly. How long until one of those things gets in? We stay. Somebody's going to get hurt. Or worse. You really think the kids are gonna be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. And if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cape. We're safe inside the house. And I bet we can find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We're tired of being afraid every time we leave you guys alone. And it's just getting worse out there. Better to leave now while we still can. But what about Dad? What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? We might never find him again. Your dad would want us to do this game. He'd want us to survive. We've been surviving. Here. At home. Barely. I'm sorry, Gabe. But... Javi's right. Uh, how about... You guys go and I stay here. You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just... Ask my friends. Gabe. Honey. What? What's what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? Uncle Javi? She's sad. Because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew. But it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean... He, he was one of them? We're so sorry, Gabe. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? What are we going to tell him? I want to say something good. Tell him we'll find him. Somehow. We're all gonna see each other again. I like that. I swear, it's gonna be like, gonna I came to the house, him. obviously you guys just it. left. Cool. <laughs> I'll help him. Better not do it like that kind of bullcrud. Really? I'll actually be annoyed if they do that. <laughs> it's like, we just missed him. <laughs> I will not be happy.
Am I gonna take the bat? I don't know if it's like, it might be a fake one, but still, I think you would. I do like the idea how they do this story a bit. Because it really do uh, does feel like it's fully against um, Javier a lot of the times. In a way, it kind of felt like everything was going for Lee and Clementine. Even though there was negatives a lot of the time, it always felt like it always went positive. Um, and negatives would come a little bit later. Now it feels like negatives come with barely any positives half the time. Which is awesome. Dad? Javi? Is that really you? <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. God, you have no idea how good it is to see your face. I think I got a pretty decent idea, actually. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. And we got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. What the fuck is she on the ground for? She's barely got a pulse. She's cold as fucking ice. How are you just gonna leave her here like this? We were trying to prove that we could be trusted, that we'd follow orders. Anything to get her to your hospital. You that afraid of an injured woman, Max? It wasn't her. It was the rest of them. She's coming inside. But she hasn't been checked. Fuck that. This is my wife. I... I didn't know. Honest. She's going to the hospital. Now. Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. Fine. Let's just get this over with. Hobby. Make my job easy, would you? Listen to your friend. <sighs> Whatever you say. I don't want to say wife. Let's go. Because that would suck. Because I bet David would not be happy. This is going to get complicated. Thing is, who's she going to choose? And what's David going to do? Trip. Oh, God. Eleanor. When we found the car without you in it, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. They definitely didn't look for her, because she was still in the car. But that's crazy. I told them she was dying. And clearly, it wasn't a priority. Well, at least those assholes realized she needed a hospital once they saw her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I better I not blame her. Reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond, their new frontier. Oh my God. Oh, 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 you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Hey, nobody's more surprised than me. I, I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but he did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I, mean, I would he know. Kate, instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. 
Kate is married to your brother? Let's just say it's complicated, all right? Maybe it's my fault for jumping to conclusions. Makes sense you'd be so close, considering... Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott Hobby, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Hobby. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. No. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it... No fucking way David was a part of that. That's not the kind of man he is. Maybe he wasn't the last time you saw him, but you said yourself, it's been a while. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along? He seemed happy enough to see you up there. Things between me and him were complicated. Some days we'd be at each other's throats. Other days we could shoot the shit for hours and still find stuff to talk about. So he's a moody son of a bitch, huh? If your brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just going to let things slide. I don't blame I've you. I've been an eye for eye kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. Come on already. Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. What about the rest of my friends? They're not invited. Hurry up now. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip, just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just... Go. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know that. Thanks. Oh, boy. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it like I did, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.